Yo, what is going on, guys? We are back today for the final war of season 40, war number 12. And my team for this war is Galen, Rintra, and Scorpion. Who, these three characters, I like to think of as like the three kings of 2022. Just, uh, like, Hulkling's kind of one of them, too, but. Let's forget about Hulkling for now. Uh, these three are just were the the shining gems of of, of 2022 uh, in each, each of their classes. You know, Rintra just really shining in the Mystic class. Gallon really shining in the Cosmic class, especially to me. And Scorpion truly shined in the Science class. I just all three of these characters are so powerful, and I love having a team of just the three of them. This is one, this is one of my favorite war teams. I feel like I can handle so much with this team. Uh, but originally, I was assigned. Uh, Agent Venom instead of Rintra for the synergy that he shares that he gives to, to, to Scorpion. I was supposed to use Scorpion for this fight and some other cosmic fights like a Hulkling, uh, but I, I decided I was like ask my officer man I was like yo can I just bring Rintra? Um, I feel like he'd be safer and better. And he was like yeah I actually had Rintra originally anyway so yeah you can go ahead and bring Rintra. So really glad to have the cow on the team. He absolutely destroyed that Gallon. He did a 90k crit on our first special two. Oh, it was so nice. Uh, and then we move on to this next fight here, Mantis. So I was given some special instructions here that if I go ahead and use a combat regeneration boost, that will actually, uh, we don't have to worry about the tranquilize uh, that she has. You see it's grayed out. It's not active right now. And as soon as that regen combat regeneration uh, boost goes away, uh, it will turn red and become active. Uh, but I think Mantis is super easy to fight. The only thing that kind of trips me up sometimes is her heavy attack. Just, it's, it's very odd. Um, but it's caught me here. That's all right. Uh, we regen a lot of it back. Uh, and Spader special too. Just kind of back away from it and you don't have to worry. So here you see when that regen uh, wore off, the, the tranquilizer went red, but then I activate the harvest, get a regen buff. It goes back to being grayed out. Go ahead, throw this special two. It does a buttload of damage. We apply nine of our incinerate debuffs. One more combo. Good night, Mantis. Sleep tight. She gone. So, so far, very, very good start to this war. But now we get to a fight that I was, uh, one of the fights I was most worried about, I'd say. It's a gore. Gore the God Butcher. So here he's on path one. We're gonna be going for Scorpion. I'm deciding to just go ahead and use the ruptures. Uh, I, I know Gore, he doesn't have like a ton of immunities or if, if any, um, but you know, he does have the poison and the shock. Uh, he has access to those debuffs. So I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna go for rupture just cause rupture is always a safe bet unless they have some type of physical resistance which i don't think core has so i was like all right i'm just going for ruptures um and i also went for a power start one so that i can just go ahead get off that special attack right at the start of this fight so that we can fate seal him because we do benefit from the subdue attacker tactic attacker tactic uh so boom we got rid of all of gore's buffs um which is fantastic because gore without buffs kind of turns into a potato we do get hit there though. Uh, this is one kind of the tricky things I find in fighting Gore. It's just his special one. Sometimes I, I punish too early. I'm not sure what hit it should end on. Uh, so I took some damage there. Boom, I'm at 66% now. I'm gonna go ahead, throw my special two though. And you see I dash back a bunch here to give him that passive regeneration from the node. He's also getting a regeneration buff as well. And I'm gonna keep on continuing to trigger the, the passive regeneration from the node. So I can just siphon off that healing through the, through the Petrify. My Scorpion is only Sig 23, but as you can see, we're back to full health. That is how powerful Scorpion's signature ability is. One of my favorite signature abilities in the entire game. And it's just so good because low Sig is totally fine. Low Sig is totally fine. Boom. Finish that fight. Full yellow bar, man. Scorpion. Just, mmm. What a guy. What a guy. That's what, that's what makes Scorpion so good, especially in Battlegrounds. Because you get off that special two, you can just heal back all the, not all the damage, but typically most of the damage that you took in a fight and just end up finishing with a full yellow bar. It's, it's so nice. <laughs> so the fight I was scared about, Gore, Scorpion crushed. Now next up here, we have an Overseer. I think Overseer, for me, is honestly one of the easiest champs in the entire game to fight. I have zero struggle fighting Overseer, uh, especially with Gallon. Because you see, I just entered the Harvest. So here, we're going to bait his special now that we've entered the Harvest. And we're going to trigger his auto block on purpose. See, I'll trigger it here. It's fine. I'm stun immune. Gallon is stun immune when awakened in the Harvest. 
So boom, totally uh, just bypass his auto block there, not have to worry about it. Throw our special two, get those nine incinerates. It is doing so much damage. And by the time I'm able to, you know, get back to another special one, the fight's over. So boom, down goes Overseer. That fight was an absolute breeze. I go ahead and move on to a thing. Uh, I fought, I've taken the shared fight quite a few times. Typically, it's uh, it's infamous Iron Man, but I have seen thing here in the past, which is totally fine for Gallon. Gallon is a really, really solid thing counter. The only thing you need to be worry, wary about is to make sure you don't, your harvest doesn't end while he has that protection active. Uh, as long as you can avoid that, it should be totally fine with Gallon. So here, gonna go ahead and enter my harvest, just toss off this special two. Uh, does a great amount of damage. We've taken off almost half of his health now. And you're going to see um, I hit into Thing even after the 15 rock stacks there because we have the neutralize on him. Again, that is another benefit from being a subdue uh, atta tactic attacker. Um, so we're actually able to you know push Thing past 15 rock stacks and not have to worry about the unstoppable so long as we do have one of those neutralized passives active. Uh, and boom, go ahead, throw a special one with the harvest. That's like 70k. We got him down all the way to 12%. Almost got this guy taken care of. I do still like to manage the rock stacks, though, to an extent. It just, I don't know. I, I fought things so much that it's just, I'm just so used to, you know, countering, pushing the 15 rock stacks, being special. It's just rinse and repeat that. So it's still just kind of encoded in my play style. But uh, yeah, it was cool you know push thing past the rock sacks and not have to worry so much with, with gallon don't get to do that often so it's cool now next up here this is definitely another one of the fights i was worried about we have a, a cersei i i just if i had to comprise a list of like 10 champions i hate fighting the most in this entire game cersei would be on that top 10 list for sure uh, i'm not a fan of fighting her but however with scorpion with the subdue stuff it's not so bad you know, the, the, the real thing I hate about, and what makes Cersei so annoying is her glancing. Well, how her glancing works is she needs to, first of all, activate it through a heavy attack or take a big enough hit so that it activates on its own. And um, the, the big enough hit shouldn't be happening because this node has safeguard, so we shouldn't be hitting very hard. Uh, plus, we also have the neutralize and the fate seals to try to keep the, the glancing buff under control. Um, so the only real way she's going to trigger that glancing uh, well, right there, she just triggered it. I guess my hit was too big. And I didn't have a neutralize active, so it triggered, I guess. Um, yeah, that's annoying. Uh, just going to wait it out, though. Just kind of chill while that happened. All right, now that it's on cooldown, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw... I guess I'm not going to throw a special one yet. I think, am I, am I going to intercept her with it? Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and get rid of all those flourish buffs. We don't need her having increased power gain. I don't like baiting Cersei's specials. Um kind of have an all right idea of when, when to evade them but they still catch me occasionally uh and they can also go unblockable that's when i get kind of scared uh or, but if they're not blocked sometimes i'll block some hits but you know so far this fight is going fairly good um as long as we stay aggressive we're able to you know keep up that neutralize fairly well and you know try to avoid uh triggering that glancing it's only triggered once so far this fight so we're doing a, a fairly good job um, and yeah, just gonna keep doing these combos, keep throwing some special ones, just to apply more of our sting debuffs. I've actually find the special one to be way more useful than I initially thought with Scorpion. Um, just the, the, all the extra sting debuffs paired with the taunt, um, it's really incredible. And you also get the ability to block unblockables if you have the opponent taunted. Um, so that is just such a nice ability. So that fight ended up going really well with Scorpion. Just took a little bit of time, but what do you expect on Safeguard? And then I just have one final fight of the season, and that's this Hulkling. Now, originally, I was assigned Scorpion for this fight, and that kind of scared me. Again, Hulkling is easily, like, top three champions. I hate fighting the most in this game. I really don't like fighting Hulkling. So I was just like, I think I would just much rather go Rintra here. So I decided to go for Rintra, and I think that was a good call. Because Rintra just kind of turns Hulkling into a potato. We can basically keep him neutralized for the entire fight. And uh, yeah, that's uh, what's going to happen here. The, the, the only problem is that my Rintra is Sig 200. Now, that's it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Because on a fight like this, 
the power gain that we get is crazy. Like I just, you know, I want to build up a bunch of my ruptures and try to get a big special too, but that's pretty impossible here because my power will just go red. I'm just going to get to a special three if I don't throw these special twos like right away because the power gain at 6200 is, is greatly increased. It's as high as it can go. So I, I, I took Rincher to Sig 200 for defense mainly. It makes him even more annoying to fight against. That's why I did it. Uh, it does, and it, it's, yeah, it's uh, just a bit of a double-edged sword because it's just a, a little bit too much power gain, especially on a matchup like this where we're preventing so many buffs from triggering on Hulk lane. The power gain just keeps triggering for us. So I end up going for a special three. I could have avoided the special three, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? That'll probably look kind of cool for the thumbnail. <laughs> so I think that's why I ended up just wanting to throw a special three anyways, uh, just to get a good uh, picture for the thumbnail. But uh, yeah, this fight is going absolutely fantastic. There is zero worry here. The only thing I have to you know, be careful of is to not parry him because then the stun would be reflected. Um, unless I have like my stun immunity phase up, but I'm not really sure how that works with Rintra. If any of you guys do know, let me know in the comments uh, how Rintra's stun immunity works. I think he has some type of stun immunity. Um, I've noticed it a couple times like when fighting him, but I'm not exactly sure how it works. But yeah, this fight's winding down, hulking down to 10%, probably like one more special two. Should do the trick here. And boom, there we go, hit him with it. He dead. So, Rintra, oh, I think this is my first war. I don't, is this my first time ever bringing Rintra to war? I don't know. It's definitely the first time in a long time. This is definitely the first time this season that I brought, uh, Rintra to war. And just saying moo. I uh, really, really enjoyed the cow. Really, really enjoyed the cow, man. What an absolute beast. Like, Rintra, he he will definitely be within, like, my first three Mystic Rank 5s. Like, Rintra is that guy. I, I, I don't think he's going to be first. I don't think he's going to be second. But he'll probably be third. I, I'm a big fan of Rintra. He, he's great. So this is our final season. Uh, our final war of the season. And we needed to win... To secure a top 10 spot in masters and we did end up securing it i don't i don't i felt like these guys like just weren't trying against us i don't know they ended up dying way more than initially anticipated we died a bunch at the start and i thought we were gonna lose um but it, it evened out and then we got a bit of a cushion so yeah ggs to these guys and we did secure the top 10 spot in masters uh we ended up placing sixth which is technically ninth uh, because they're the top three spots ahead of us. So ninth overall in the world for season 40. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'm very happy with our performance, with my performance this season. Go ahead and show you guys my, uh, my stats here. So I ended with 75 kills, two deaths. Uh, so I think in total I had 76 fights. Um, I died to one. I don't think I finished. That was the, the Chavez uh, I thought it was horrible. Um, with Scorpion, it's a very, very smart AI that just destroyed me. Um, and yeah, so two deaths. I forget what my other death is, and honestly, I don't even want to remember. So I'm just gonna try to stay. It's gonna try to keep it forgotten. Uh, but yeah, 75 and two. Definitely not my best season, but not not definitely not my worst. I'm very happy with it. Uh, with a 97% solo rate, and our power rating, which is just kind of like how we. Uh, basically the war performance for that season i had 89 which is solid sixth overall in the alliance so you know pretty pretty solid season for me and i'm ending this is what i'm most excited about i'm ending on a 50 streak so we're exactly halfway to 100 which i don't think i've broken that or have like gotten that record before 100 fights without dying so that's going to be my goal for the next season Let's try to continue that that streak to get it to 100 and hopefully continue it for the entire next season because i've also never done that had a full deathless season yet um so that'd be cool to try for next season and that'll be the plan so yeah hope you guys enjoyed all the war content this season kind of been a lot of it lately um so yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I've been actually having a lot of fun making it. This war season has actually been pretty fun. Got to use a lot of really cool, unique champions, especially Absorbing Man. And I think this tactic is one of my favorites, especially the attacker tactic. I think it's one of my favorites we've ever seen. Just And because it, it benefits some of my favorite champs, like Scorpion, like Gallon, giving them Neutralize and Fate Seal. is just, it just makes two of the most powerful champions in the game even more powerful. And it's just a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all that. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. 
Uh, we will have another video going over the season rewards, opening all that up. Top 10 masters. We're going to have a couple Nexus crystals. And we're going to get enough materials uh, for my next rank 4, which I am very excited to do. Uh, so that will all be within the rewards opening. We'll take our next champ to rank 4. I'll take 200. Be on the lookout for that video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this season. Drop a like. If you enjoyed all the content, subscribe. If you want to see more for next season, hopefully we go deathless. That's going to do it. Peace out.